Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use your standard calculator built into your Windows 10 computer as a currency converter. And this is pretty cool, nice little feature, and I thought I would showcase it in today's tutorial. So however you normally would open up the calculator, just going through the start menu, just would type in calculator, and then once you open up the standard Windows 10 calculator here, you go up right underneath where it says calculator and left click on the three horizontal lines. Just left click on it one time. You see a new menu opens up here. Under converter, left click on the currency option. So now your default currency or your currency you're going to be converting from, you want this to be the top value here. If you click the little drop down arrow right here, you can select anything from the list. And you can keep in mind there's quite a few currencies in here. Just about every currency in the world that's traded should be listed in here. So just select whatever currency you want to convert from. So let's just say the Cayman Islands. Let's put in a value here. So you're going to use the number pad down here to type in a dollar amount or whatever currency units are measured in for your default currency. And I'm going to type in 85. And you see that we're currently converting to the euro. And if you click the drop down arrow again, you can select other currencies as well. Again, same principle would apply. And what's really cool about this is if you have an internet connection, just left click on the update rates button right down here. And it'll actually do a live update. So it, you will have to reinsert the original currency because it will clear everything. But it will show the conversion rate from one currency to the other right through here. So that's definitely a really nice, cool little feature to know about. So basically it's Google's own ability. So you can do this on Google as well, but why do that when you have it right on your Windows computer? So just a nice little trick. Hope I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.